If you've bought some kind of electronic device over the past few years, chances are that you have and use USB-C for charging. If you don't already know, USB-C is that tiny USB connector that is reversible. Thanks to USB-C, gone are the days of struggling in your USB cable the right way. However, more than just a hassle-free experience, USB-C is one of the best connectors ever made. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of any future videos. So with USB-C, it's compact enough to be used in thin and small devices like our smartphones, but still has enough power to charge bigger devices like our laptops. The result of this is one tiny cable that can charge every single one of your gadgets that you own. There is one problem though. Bigger devices need much more power to charge their bigger batteries compared to the smaller devices like our smartphones. So how do you use the same cable to charge both of of those devices. Enter USB-C PD. USB-C PD or USB-C power delivery is the new charging standard that has been created to solve this exact problem. Power delivery is a dynamic, fast charging technology that allows USB-C to handle much higher voltage and currents that is needed to power those bigger devices. But much better than that, power delivery prevents this increased power from frying your smaller devices by communicating with the device to know how much it needs and then supplying that exact amount of power. So with this, a 100 watt PD charger can charge a phone that only requires 20 watts of power without frying your smartphone. Now, that is a one way of truly saying that you can use one cable to charge all of your devices. At this point, I'm sure you're wondering, what about all the different other fast charging technologies out there from phone manufacturers that they've been releasing? I mean, we've seen Huawei's Supercharge, OnePlus's Warp Charge, and Samsung's Adaptive Fast Charging. So what is so exciting about PD if all of these charging technologies already exist? You see, the problem with all of those great technologies is that they're proprietary. They will only fast charge the devices that they were made for. For example, OnePlus's Warp Charge will charge a OnePlus device really quickly, but you put that same charger onto another device that also supports, let's say, 30 watt charging, then the charging speeds will be dramatically reduced. And the thing is, all of these use the USB Type-C connector too. And in an age where smartphone manufacturers have stopped putting charges in a box, imagine having to go out and buy a different charger for every new device that you purchase just to get the most out of your charging. That completely negates the incentive of buying USB-C being the one standard for everything that it was designed to be. It also creates a ton of waste with people throwing out their old chargers that don't fit the charging specifications of their new smartphones. Power delivery, on the other hand, is a universal standard baked into USB-C. So it will work with every device that supports fast charging, from your smartphone to your tablet to your laptop to even something like a Nintendo Switch. You can use the same USB-C cable and you don't need to worry. Sorry about that iPhone users. And because power delivery listens to the needs of each of these devices, so long as you have a quality power delivery charger, you will never need to worry about your device not getting enough juice or getting too much juice. Wow, that is a lot of juice that's making me a little bit thirsty. <laughs> Another great feature of USB-C PD is the two-way charging. Most devices today either receive power or give out power. With USB PD ports on laptops, for example, you can use it to either charge your laptop or plug in your phone or device, and the laptop will charge that device with that same port. This makes it very convenient. Now, this doesn't mean that your phone will be able to charge your power bank. However, what this does mean is that devices like your monitor can receive information from your laptop while giving out power to charge the laptop at the same time. For those who don't know, we're currently on the third iteration of power delivery charging. The first version, USB PD 1.0, only offered six fixed power profiles. That was 10 watts, 18 watts, 36 watts, 60 watts, and 100 watts. However, as you can tell, this isn't quite flexible enough for the needs of 
all of the devices that potentially this would be compatible for. For example, if you had a battery capable of 15 watt charging, then using this standard, you would only get 10 watts of charging because the 18 watts would be far too much for that device to handle. This might not seem like a big reduction, until you're in a pinch and you need your phone to charge as quickly as possible and you're not utilizing the maximum capabilities that that charging standard can offer. So with Power Delivery 2.0 and 3.0, these fixed profiles were abandoned to allow for more charging flexibility. There are still the fixed voltage values. However, the current values are now in a range. This combination of fixed voltage and negotiated current allows for more flexibility in charging speeds. Now you you can get charging speeds as low as 0.5 watts to as high as 100 watts at four different voltage levels. Power Delivery 3.0 also took it a step further in communicating with the device that is charging, listening for things like battery health, fast roll swapping, and enhanced security. However, people wanted more power and faster charging, especially when it came to power-hungry gaming and workstation-style laptops. Excitingly, in 2021, USB PD Revision 3.1 was announced with the ability to deliver up to 240 watts of power. That is an insane amount of power in such a tiny cable and connector. PD 3.1 released higher fixed voltages at 28 volts, 36 volts, and 48 volts, which when combined with the flexible current are allowed to produce 140 watts, 180 watts, and 240 watts of power levels respectively. There is also a new adjustable voltage supply mode so that the speed of the charging can be changed drastically during the charging process. This works really well for things like laptops. So let's say your laptop only requires 60 watts to charge at its idle state. However, when under heavy load from an application, the laptop needs an extra 40 watts to drive the GPU and CPU to deliver its best performance. Well, with USB PD 3.1, this can easily easily be achieved so that your laptop stays charged rather than it draining the battery even when it's plugged in. This communication between the PC and the charger is such that it can provide the right amount of power needed, not just in general, but also specifically depending on the situation and the applications that the PC is running. There is one problem with USB PD charging though. With computer and phone companies looking to push their own proprietary chargers, manufacturers are unlikely to add the fastest USB-C PD charging standards to their devices. However, most manufacturers offer faster proprietary charging, which consumers will inevitably go for instead of USB PD. But on more of an optimistic tone, if developers can instead adopt this new standard across all of their devices, the future will truly look like what we've imagined when USB-C was first introduced. One cable and even one charger to charge all of your devices with their required charging speeds. But that's it for today. If you've enjoyed today's video, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with any of our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.